everyone welcome back to plan with B today I wanted to film how I do my weekly breakdown since I'm getting ready to plan out my week usually I do plan my week out earlier than this but I was away for the weekend and I actually will plan out a couple weeks at a time or at least start them just so that I can add things as I need them I don't do any sort of pre-planning and then transfer it or anything I just plan right on my weeklies and if it looks a mess it looks a mess as long as it's helping me be productive and get my tasks completed that's all I'm worried about if you guys are interested in full-on planner flips or my planning system or anything like that they're in previous videos as well as if you guys are interested in my freebies program that's also in previous videos as well as on my instagram at underscore plan with b underscore and you can check out my blog www.planwithb.com so we are just going to jump right into this so i'm just going to go ahead and turn to my this week tab and as you can see this was actually last week so i'm going to go ahead and pull out this week's which I just cut the slit inside of the hole punch here so that I can easily take them in and out without opening the ring mechanism. And we're gonna go ahead and jump right into setting up the week. So these weekly inserts are by Creative Kata. I love them, I love the layout. I feel like I have a good amount of space to write out what's going on for the day as well as some tasks that I need to get done. I personally don't write every little thing out. There are routine things that I know just to do during my day and I don't feel the need to write them out, but anything that's timed schedule wise that I need to see as well as tasks that are sort of out of the norm or things that I might forget to do sometimes, I like to jot down to have to reference. So I really like these inserts. It's a Monday through Sunday. I do wish it was offered Sunday through Saturday because that's how I like to plan, but it doesn't bother me too much. I like the clean, minimal look of them. They also have very faint lines here so you can keep your handwriting straight but without seeing all that stuff on the page. And this first box here just has a priorities and notes section. So I use those for some top things that I have to get done for the week that um, could be done any day but I just like to stick them there. Some things that I like to have handy when I'm planning out my week are obviously my pen, which this is my favorite pen. It's the Ultra Micro 207 by Uniball Signo. And I always have my Tombows or Mild Liners. Right now, I've been really loving this color. It's the Tombow 912. It's like a really pretty orangey color when you actually use it on the page. You can actually see it on here. That's this color here. So I really like that right now for the fall. Okay, so I use undated, so I just date them as I need them. So I've already gotten my dates written up here. And again, I am planning out this week a little late because I was- The first thing that I personally like to list on the top line for the day is if there's any birthdays or anniversaries. So I would go into my planner here and I would then check my perpetual calendar or my monthly section because my monthly also has um, birthdays written on it, but I do have a perpetual calendar that I have in here. So I'm just gonna go ahead to the month of October and look at this week 12 through 18 and see if there's any birthdays and if so i'm just gonna jot those in once i have any birthdays or anniversaries written in the next thing i like to fill in is our work schedules so i'm going to reference my monthly so i'm going to go to this month which is october and i love using these peanuts planner co monthly inserts anyone who knows me watches my channel or follows me on instagram knows how obsessed i am with these so what i like to do on the left hand side is fill in our work schedules and babysit and school schedules over here so i'm just going to go down to the dates here and i'm going to look for the 12th through 18th and just fill in mine and my husband's work schedules. Once I have the work schedules written in, which again is also something I typically don't write in, but due to COVID and how things have just changed over these past several months, um, work schedules have been kind of all over the place, especially with having to do hybrid schooling and virtual schooling. So um, I do need to have that on my weekly to reference. So then after that, I go through and I'm gonna fill in my daughter's school schedule, if she's in school, doing virtual school, or if she's being babysat at all that day. I also do like to reference my daughter's school section right in here because I do have her school schedule printed out as well as 
a week of her specialty classes here so i do like to look at that to reference but typically i do have it all here on my monthly on that left hand page so I like to just look at my monthly breakdown to further break it down for my week. Once I've had work schedules, school schedules, birthdays, anniversaries, all that on, I'm going to go ahead and now check my monthly calendar to see if there's any appointments or any timed scheduled events on my calendar. So I'm just going to go to the current week, which is right here. And I currently don't have anything written in here that is um, important times events. So I don't need to fill anything like that in. The next thing that I like to do is check my prior week before I get rid of it. So part of the prior week is actually hooked to the back of this. But what I'm going to do is just go to last week here. And I'm going to just see if there were any items on here that I had to migrate. So if there were, I'm going to go ahead and put them on this week so I get them done. So I have to update the computer log. So after I've checked my previous week to see if anything needed to be transferred, I just use a Tombow marker to make the little check boxes here. And next thing that I'm going to do is actually just check my inbox. So my inbox is a place where I just stick everything down that I need to, sticky note. And I use these inbox sheets currently, which are by Perfectionism Prints. I really like them. Prior to that, I was using these categorized task sheets by Peanuts Planner Co., which I also really like, which I kind of just like set up my own little reference here. So I basically am going to go through this and check if there's anything in here that I think that I could work on for this week that is something that is just a task that I need to get done, or if it's something that's marked urgent that I must get done, then I'm gonna go ahead and put it on here. Right now, there's nothing on here other than some projects that I'm working on that is crucial to get done, except for this item right here on this sticky note. So I'm going to just go ahead and write that in here. I also currently revamped my task cards, which I have back in here. They're just placed on the opposite side of my sticky dots. So these are inspired by Maddie Plans. And I used to always just take page flags and much like a sticky note, I would just write something on it and then just kind of keep transferring it so I didn't have to keep rewriting certain things. But I love the look of Maddie task cards, so I decided to actually DIY my own. So and everything that I use for this, I will link below. And I always have products linked on my Instagram as well for easy access. But I do know since we are in, in mid-month right now that I'm going to have to pay on my daughter's surgery bill. So I'm going to just pull this one off and I'm just going to place it on this week. It doesn't really matter where I stick it. And that's another thing I wanted to say. I don't really care where things are necessarily written unless they must get done that day. But as long as I have an overview, a breakdown for that week, I can kind of like go and check things off as needed. If I don't get to finishing something on Tuesday that was marked on Tuesday and I get it done Wednesday, that's fine. I'll just mark it off the next day. So just so I kind of have an overview, that's what's important to me. So I know I have to pay on her surgery bill. And I know at the end of the week, I'm going to have to update her school schedule. And I also know that I have to refill our vitamins. So I'm going to also put that in here just so I have that handy. And um, my daughter's at my parents on Saturday. So that is a babysit reminder. So I'm actually going to put that in the front of my planner just so I don't forget that. Sometimes there's things that I keep on my weekly and sometimes if they're more urgent, I'll even move it to the front here. Just like these items honestly will probably get moved to the front of my planner so that when I first open it, I see those things and get them done this week. So, but for right now, I'm just going to keep them on here and then I'm going to go ahead and check my plan with b section so i can't really show you guys anything in here but basically i have my content schedule set up in here so whatever i'm working on for that week my freebies program i'm working on whatever video i'm doing i would just put on so i know on mondays i have to post my freebies blog so that everybody can have access to my newest freebie printables so the next section that I check then would be my currently section. So this basically just has anything current going on, like projects or just things that I'm working on, things that I need to reference, so that they're all in one easy spot. I know for a fact I don't have anything in here that I need to be working on this week, so I'm not going to go through this. There's a lot of things in here that I can't show anyways. Um, 
but I do have that section here, which I reference. So once I get the bulk of things on here that I know have to get done, I then will just fill in things as needed, like tasks that I need to do for the day, things that I need to remember. So I'll just kind of look ahead and see what is going on that's timed and things. And if I have like a certain appointment, I might have a task the day or two before saying to get this ready, or I need to bring this paperwork, things like that. This isn't um, a super busy week other than just school and work that I have much going on in the way of like appointments and things so I don't really have much of that to fill in to show you guys today but I do set this up and like I said I'll set it up for like two or three weeks worth like with the top part so that I can just go ahead and fill in all of the tasks that I need to do as I think of them because I don't like having to rewrite things over and over I just want to write them down have it where I know it is and be able to get things done so basically like if I have a couple weeks of this set up and I know okay I know that there's an appointment coming up and I'm going to have to get um, a referral paper for it or something I then can look ahead see when that appointment is and write in you know on a different day prior that I need to call the doctor get a referral sent over things like that so basically I just like to have an area where I can just fill it in as I need it I don't do much of the pre-planning the only thing I would say if you would even consider pre-planning is basically my inbox I mean I just jot down things as they come to my mind and then later decide where they need to go or what I need to do with them. So that's the general gist of things. And like I said, I don't write every little thing down. So unless I'm having an extremely busy day, I typically stick to weekly layouts. So I don't write down things like that I have to do the dishes and I have to clean the litter box and I have to, you know, do this and that. Things that are very routine, I don't have to write down. I know to do them every day and I don't feel like I need to waste the time to write those things down. That's just how I am. And it's also that I don't keep my inserts once I am finished with them. I will keep a couple weeks at once because they are attached to each other. So I do have to have the prior week, but I do reference it for the next week. But like I'll start throwing them away after they're a couple weeks past. I don't hold on to them and I just keep what's relevant in my planner. So this is just kind of an overview of a weekly breakdown these boxes will fill up with um, tasks that I have to do which I'll fill in as I think of them but for right now this is basically how I set up my weekly breakdown I hope that this was helpful to you guys and if you guys are interested in any other certain types of videos that you want to see by me make sure you leave it in the comments below and I'd be happy to put that on my list to film for you guys and I also want to mention that I do reference in addition to my monthly calendar I do use a digital calendar app which I've been using for I think about six years the same app which I'm gonna do a video on because I did a video on it a long time ago and I ended up you know getting rid of my old channel a long time ago so I am gonna do a video again on it but the app that I use is amazing and it's really great especially for like you know couples or families and things like that you can use it even if it's just for yourself but it works great for like a family calendar so I'm gonna show you guys that in a different video but I do reference that I can't show it to you because it's on my phone and I'm filming with my phone but just in case like my husband put an appointment in that I didn't know about that he recently made on that calendar I can see it if I didn't get it filled into my planner yet so I do reference that as well I also just wanted to mention to you guys that I do like using this clear fly leaf in the front to put little sticky notes on as well as these page flags and I do have them for my monthly I think I've shown these to you in planner flips but I pop them in and out to put them on the month and as well as the week so basically um, this as well I like to just put the common things on so it doesn't have to be right on the page because I might need more space to write but I do like to put sticky notes on here and page flags of things to remember because it gives me still an overview so if you guys are using some kind of clear transparent flyleaf or bookmark or anything like that those are great to put those on as well but I did move my most important things that I have to get done this week right into the front of my planner so that I don't forget to do them so they are up here I also wanted to to mention that I do always link things that you might see like things I'm wearing or the color nail polish I have on and I know you guys are probably like whose fingers are this because I'm not wearing my usual nail polish color but I did put a different color on for this week and I think it's called like 
Mochi Mochi or something by Essie. I don't know. I'll link it down below for you guys if you're interested. But um, yeah, so I just wanted to mention that that if you guys do a clear fly leaf, those are great to stick things like this on. And I do have a video all about a tutorial on how to make your own transparent dividers and fly leaves like this. So as well as top loading pockets. So if you guys are interested in that, that is on my channel in a prior video. So just wanted to mention that to you guys as well. Please be sure to like and subscribe to this video as a well as check me out on my blog and Instagram where I post very frequently. I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye everybody!